we met at a bar actually, and yeah, I, I was so. woo. You know, <laughs> you I was, were playing a show. Listen, <laughs> I was playing a gig, and Kate was my groupie. She's all taking off her bra and throwing it. I'm like, hey, look, I'm not that kind of girl. Like, Calm down, Kate. Welcome to your mom. Your mom podcast. Your mom's podcast. This isn't any podcast. This is your mother's podcast. My mom's podcast. Nah, dude, she's your mom. With Ashley Addison and Lisa McCaffrey. Your mom is a podcast. Shut up, dude. Okay, today we have a two for one or a four for one. (laughs) I don't know, hmm. Lisa. I don't know what you would call this. We we have not one but two moms is what I'm trying to it's say. It's a foursome. How about that? For like a golf, like in a golf outing. We, we have a golf <laughs> foursome for you today on your mom. That's exactly what we have. We're gonna just have you listen to us swing a golf club. <laughs> oh riveting, riveting. <laughs> wow. The intro um, to this interview is fitting for how this actual interview begins, too, because this uh this one went a little off the rails. Uh Trey McBride is the name. He, uh, most, a lot of people, I think in the, you know, football, people who follow football know him well. Played at Colorado State. Trey played at Colorado State. Became a huge name really his senior year when he started skyrocketing up draft boards. He led the country in, for tight ends in, in catches and yards. And if I'm not mistaken, the final play of his college career was like a 70-yard touchdown run on a fake punt. So he's oh my gosh, a phenomenal wow. player, won the Mackey won Award, the which is given to the Award, best yes. tight end in the country. Amazing. And is the, was the 55th overall pick by Arizona in the second round of the draft. First NFL player who was raised by two moms. So Kate mm-hmm. and Jen McBride are his moms, and they're going to join us today. We actually recorded this interview, what was it, maybe a month or two ago when I came out to Colorado and we all got together. Their lives changed tremendously um, mm-hmm. because he be, kind of became a household name overnight. Whereas when your last name is McCaffrey, I think everybody knew who your <laughs> sons were. But this was this was a little bit of a different story. Right. And, and Fort Morgan's a really small town in Colorado, too. It's a very small town. So, um, yeah, all of a sudden, they've got five kids. To talk of the they, town. So yeah. run up to you, Lisa. They've got five I know. kids. But, and they had one girl. Their youngest is a girl. And I'm so jealous. Oh, so jealous. <sighs> Yeah. Good for and them. a lot of animals. They have a lot of animals too. There's a, so I just want to give our, I want to give our listeners a heads up that there's, there's some major animal talk at the top. Um, <laughs> the whole thing is not about like zoos and emus and zebras and zonkeys, even though uh, to me, that was incredibly interesting, but just stay tuned because we get to some of the good stuff. There's some heartwarming parts. As you can imagine being raised by two moms, especially in a small conservative town in Colorado, what that might have meant to their kids. But right. they just have an amazing story. And you could just tell the love in that family is so real. And that's what stuck out to me, Lisa. Same. Exactly. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah. They, you could tell they just, they live for their family. They live for each other and they live for their family. And it just, it came out in the interview. And I love that. Love that about them. So without further ado, uh, and at the end of the interview, we'll, we'll wrap up and I'll ask you, you're, you're in Charlotte, North Carolina right now because you just watched Christian's season opener. So we'll, we'll catch up on your weekend after the interview. But without further ado, I want to get to it. Here is Kate and Jen McBride, the moms of Arizona Cardinal tight end Trey McBride. Kate and Jen, I am so excited to have you both here. We're really excited to talk to you. There's a million different topics, but I want to start with kind of the most important thing, which was... This became a bucket list interview for Lisa and I. The moment that we found out that you all have a golden retriever named Onomatopoeia. <laughs> we do. Is that best you, name that ever. is the best name as, so as English creative. majors? That yeah. is just so. Tell us about Onomatopoeia. <laughs> yeah, so we call her Ani. Um, she was imported from Serbia. Wow. And her name was Ava Boring. Oh, Boring. no, yeah. yeah. So we renamed her Onomatopoeia. Trey so had good. a, I think it was his senior year, he wore a suit to prom that had onomatopoeias all over it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. And, really? um, yeah, cool. So we always thought that was cool that, number one, he was gutsy enough to wear yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> that takes some and confidence. And it's a cool word. I mean, it's a great on. word. It's one yeah. of the best oh, words. And nobody yeah. can spell it. That's true. <laughs> it's actually Ashley and it's her husband's of, safe word. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, do you ever say Ani? <laughs> now I now we've got an well, even shorter. It's hard when you have that apple yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. It's hard to say the full word. Then you got a break. You know, yeah, you, and the Pia party might just think you need a restroom break. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm so, now I, now this is a very vulnerable interview. Now you guys know a lot more about me than you ever. We're actually turning the tides. Know. It's yeah. really an intervention. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> your sex capades. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I didn't think we were going to start there, but I'm really glad that we did. We can um, be Oh. Okay, so but and and we again we've got so much to talk about. But the golden retriever. T- so I grew up with golden retrievers. Absolutely love them. And you guys breed golden retrievers. We Is do. That, how did you start? That I mean, that's such an amazing. You're about to have puppies right now, by the way. We are. We're yeah. expectant parents. I love yeah. so cool. <laughs> we start in Greeley. We had a couple. Yeah. Okay. And go then, Greeley. Uh, go Bears. Yeah. Go go UNC. Um, Thanks. We uh, had a couple, and then um, my job, I got um, transferred to Fort Morgan. Okay. And Wait, so, say what you do. My, I'm obsessed with what you do. Oh, well, I was in a trucking company at oh, that time. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's, yeah. Now I work for Not a sheriff's department. Yeah. Sheriff no. department. I'm a no. deputy with the sheriff department. Yes, that's but, very nice. That I'm obsessed. Are you going to arrest Lisa? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the interview. Hey, I'm I've been eyeballing sex her. <laughs> I'm a, I've been <laughs> eyeballing her all, all my life. <laughs> What's going on over there? Uh, um, so the, the Yeah, so we, we found a place um, outside of Fort Morgan, and we just built on it. We just kept you know how many dogs do you have total probably 20 what (laughs) i mean we have like a indoor outdoor facility and it's air conditioned and heated and yeah and do you have other pets too do you have other animals that so we have a little chihuahua yeah and we have a couple of cats hash brown is our chihuahua oh Oh, that's cute she's super cool names ever yeah she's super cool yeah some cats we used to have emus that's what i I grew up we had emus llamas um mini horses Oh my Fainting gosh! Fainting goats, no. goats, and this is when your kids were younger. Yeah, mm-hmm. we thought it'd be fun. Oh, I mean, yeah, we're so like, can you just like, like describe what some it, your house was like? It was like the city girls gone wild. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. <laughs> that's a reality show yeah. right there. I know. That's and, better than anything she would, you'd see she, on TV these we'd days. We'd go to the zoo, and she'd say, "Ooh." Uh, an ostrich. <laughs> an ostrich would be cool. So, and that was a whole. You're like an exotic. Role. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then we went to the zebra. No. Oh, yeah. My. She wanted. And a I zebra. called a guy in Grand Junction. He has a herd of zebra, and he's mm. like, "Ma'am, what kind of fence do you got?" <laughs> I'm all, why? It's just a horse with stripes, right? Really? He's like, they'll knock oh, no. it down. I'm like, oh. oh I'm so no zebra. No zebra. Mm, so we were going to do like a zonky or a zony oh, oh, or they like God. mix them. It's a, yeah, it's a thing. <gasps> I wow. said they're like 20 grand. I'm like, oh, okay, wow. we don't yeah. need one. Yeah. yeah. Just get a couple mini horses. But we had tons of stuff, yeah. That, that emus, is so fun. That, tell them the story of the emu lady because that's the best story. You want to hear the story? Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> We we decide on emus because ostriches are also very mean and they they can like rip down a fence mm. and so we're like, uh. so we go with the emu. So we meet these two ladies who were very very kind nice people. So we go to their house and and she's like, come on in, I'll show you some stuff. And we're like, okay. And this little old lady and her daughter and they're showing and they have like emu eggs everywhere. So they're like. Okay, you saw all this. Let's go out to our, you know, where we have them all. So they have the, all these chain link fences. And they have all these emus running all over. And, and the old lady's like, now listen, honey. Here's the deal. They'll snatch up everything you have on you. Your necklaces, you just be careful. What? She's like, one day I'm walking out, just minding my own business. And one of them just took my hair. And she pulls no, her no. hair. No. <laughs> pulls her hair off. She has like two <laughs> stubbles sticking up. And I'm like, <gasps> and, I'm like <laughs> and I don't want to laugh. So I'm like, take off. And oh, I'm dying. Are you two looking laugh. at each other like, what I'm are trying so I left her in the dust. I left her in the dust so I could go laugh behind oh. the emu barn. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Oh. And so how many emus did you take that day? Two. (laughs) (laughs) We're like, I don't have fake hair, so I'm cool. (laughs) She wants to help with my hair. (laughs) So you take my hat. It's fine. Did you save the same sex emus or did you do some? Did you read them? Did you read them? Well, there's a, you have to sex birds. You have to like turn them upside down and right. check. Okay, it's so not as obvious that with chicks. Yeah, as, uh, as, uh, as a dog or a cat. Yeah, we don't do know how. So we googled how to do it. <laughs> watched a couple of videos, and this we know we had one that was circuit. a girl, but we're we never were sure about the other one because mm-hmm. it was really mean. And so we <laughs> called him Dog and Beth. We assumed it was a boy and a girl. <laughs> yeah. Like Danny and, um, Dog and Beth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dog and Beth. <laughs> 
like we're so and weird. so you guys, um, you guys like, need your own show you're all right? Right? you guys need your own <laughs> so podcast good. by the way and the girl emus they drum in their chest when they're happy it's pretty cool so oh. we knew for sure Beth was a girl okay, okay. and I would go out what and pet her and she would I was the only one that was allowed to pet her she would only let me pet her and I would pet her and I'd get tired and she'd still want me to pet her and I'm like how many times in your life do you get to pet an emu right yeah but the other one attacked her and and um Dog didn't make it. We're not really sure what dog was, but dog didn't make it. Yeah, well, we we sold him, but yeah. he was he was just too ornery. But um, yeah, and I don't um like don't don't everybody run out and buy an emu. Cause, yeah, because it's, that's, high I, it's, it's hard. hard. I wouldn't it's say that from your yeah. story. And I'm not worried about people running out. And, and yeah, I, I, I would, I would like try to lasso yeah. him. Oh, like it, seriously, <laughs> like. <laughs> And I thought I was a. It cowboy. would be like you lassoing something. You yes. have no clue. What yeah, I was no. just like, yeah, I'm good. I just try to get any part. So what horrible. is really funny is because what I what I other than talking about onomatopoeia, what I really wanted to start with was how crazy have the last few months been with Trey and, but I feel like yeah. you kind of were preparing for right. the chaos <laughs> yeah, we your know, whole life. So so easy so to be yeah, it kind of yeah. sounds a lot easier than what you guys have yeah. been. <laughs> But how crazy has it been the last few? Oh, congratulations, first of all. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I, I know it's been exciting. I'm sure there's been a lot of emotions and a lot of excitement. But, yeah, can you describe how different life has been the last few months ever since you kind of basically were saying since Trey won the Mackey Award? Yeah, I mean, it's it's exciting. We go, you know, go to the grocery store and everybody's congratulating us. And we didn't do anything. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. You did. But, um, <laughs> but it, it's you fun suffered through all those cold games. That's yeah. right. I did. I did. Mm-hmm. The stands. That's right. <laughs> but it's fun to see um, fans get excited about him and yeah. more people following him and, and just kind of watching him do his thing. I mean, he loves taking pictures. Aww. We just had um, our housekeeper was cleaning our house and Trey came home and they all wanted to take pictures. There's three of them. They all wanted to take a picture with him. And the one girl, she's younger and she wanted him to pick her up and take a picture. And he did it. Weird so stuff like that. You're just like, I would never ask someone to pick like, me up. Yeah, like, yeah. like an adult. Like this nice. was an adult. Yeah. And pick you up like in like carry like, 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 like over the altar, pick yeah. you up. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you it did it. For me, but he did it. <laughs> yeah. I did oh, it good with for a smile. Him. Good for him. That's awesome. That's I love so that. It's fun to watch. So yeah, yeah. It's, it is really cool, and it's it's cool, and you know everybody's kind of, you know, like she said, congratulating you and stuff, and then we're like, oh yeah, thank you. you yeah. Know? And yeah. He, he worked really hard, you know, for us, so it's all him. But uh, yeah, it's it's cool, and everybody wanting his jersey. And, yeah. You know, Where do I get a jersey? I'm like, oh, that's cute. I mean, yeah. And that's everybody neat. asking us if we're moving to Arizona. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's not, yeah. No, <laughs> we're not yeah. moving to Arizona. It's hot. the minute you do, yeah, yeah. somewhere else. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. no, that's awesome. What was it like to watch him? I mean, because you knew, I'm sure, from a from an early age that he had a special talent. But I don't know. When, when did you realize that maybe he had what it takes to, I mean, go in you, the second round of the draft and... Yeah, you definitely show. have to answer this one because yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> no, yeah, I, do you know I tell everybody yeah, I, I called I it a long time ago you when did. he was like, these kids, okay, they were like two and three years old, and they would get on scooters. Their big older brother, Bryce, would make these ramps for his bike, and they get on scooters, and they jump these ramps. <laughs> and anything you threw at them, they could catch. Any ball you could, you know, and I mean, they were all very athletic. Yeah. And I, I told Kate, I'm like, man, these kids are amazing. I mean, I'm just telling you right now that, they, that I'm like, I said all of them were going to go to the NFL, but I'm like, they are so just talented. Right. Like, no matter what they did, yeah. they did over the top, yeah. you know, so they were always, yeah, the ramp was my first. So wait, how many kids total? That's in ages. Um, so we have five, so four boys and one girl. Right. Uh, we have Bryce. What, how old is he? Twenty six. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Twenty eight. This was yeah. a quiz. I messed way, up yeah. on the yeah, yeah the other one, and then Toby, who's twenty six. Four. Four. And he See? played at CSU. <laughs> Once they hit twenty one, yeah. it's, yeah, like, it's all my I agree. I have yeah. Yeah. my brain goes. Agree, yeah. Yeah. And then the twins, Trey and Dylan. Okay. Are twenty two. <laughs> And, and then, then just let's, let's pause right there real quick. So you have four boys. Yeah. God bless you. Lisa knows what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> and Lisa desperately, she's talked about this on the podcast, has desperately wanted a girl. Cried when she found out that Christian was a boy. Because you, you kind of knew. knew I'd have all boys. Yeah. 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 Um, but you stopped after four boys. Right. And you and convinced. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. So technically, yeah. we had the same amount of pregnancies. Yeah, that's, oh, that's true. true. Yeah. Good point. point. Yeah, we make her feel better. If, yeah. if our last okay. would have been a girl, I wouldn't have done it again. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Fair. Pregnancies Fair. is a lot. Well, pregnancies is a, a lot. It's a whole lot. Yeah. Yes. yes. Good, good for both of you. Yes. Yes. Well, I know. <laughs> I, I yeah. had two, and I'm like, no, there's yeah. no, no, there's no <laughs> chance. Well, we. I mean, I. I don't know about you, but I paid the price. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, my body is not the same. Very different. But you had a feeling that if the lucky number five was going to be a girl. You had she to tell was so that. determined. Yeah. And I'm like, listen, one more. I mean, we got four. Yeah. What's, What's another? You're already, you're already I know, and I defense. said, it's going to be a girl. I just know it. Yeah. I feel it. Love and she's it. like, okay. <laughs> So it was that easy. And when wow. you found out, tell us the story of when you found well, out. Well, yeah, tell me about what you did so first. I found, you know, I was on all these um, forums and everything <laughs> that moms do, right? We <laughs> compare oh every gosh. symptom and yeah, it's right. Really healthy yeah. to go online to right. get all that. Right, and you want to be the, the yeah. first, you know, the soonest that you could find <laughs> out you're pregnant, like five minutes after. I mean, I want to oh, know yeah. if I'm right. pregnant. Anyway, of so course. there was some blood test that you could take mm -hmm. to tell you if you're having a boy or a girl. And you had to put out newspaper and work. I mean, you couldn't touch anything that a boy had touched. Didn't inform anybody that she did this. Yeah, Obviously. so there was this Yet. whole newspaper, newspaper layout and everything. And I took the, the blood test, sent it in, and um, it came back five days later that it was a girl. Now, of course, it was probably yeah. a guess or whatever. But I, I screamed when, yes. I, when I checked my results online. And I yeah, was so she happy. Yeah, screaming. We come running. And we're like, what? And what? you didn't know that she had taken a test. I knew after. Okay. And she, to she told me after. She's like, I just couldn't have anything in the house. I didn't want anybody to know I was going to just do it. This, You couldn't have any boy germs or whatever it is. And <laughs> no cooties. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. for this yeah. test. Yeah. Like, no, were you worried you. in the back of your mind that maybe this test wasn't like, Full. Oh, absolutely. I wanted to confirm it in yeah. an ultrasound. Okay. Right. Right. How yeah. many weeks that was it that you could take that and find that? I want to say it was like six. It was, it was yeah. really yeah. early. It was really yeah. early. Yeah. It was, it was super really early. early. But you got like a hundred percent of your money back if they were wrong. Right. Oh, oh you did? Yes. I was about to second so, guess. I mean, okay. Whether they're oh, still okay. in business or not. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, they're right 50% of the time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but can you imagine if you had shown up and it was a boy? Yeah, that would have been. Would've, would've so then tried. when it was confirmed, well, that's, I mean, that's amazing. And I still, yeah. when she was born, I was like, let Making me see. Sure. I want to <laughs> show me that girl. Yeah, because I think I only know how to make boy parts. Yes. So please let me see. <laughs> and your daughter's <laughs> name is? Taya. 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 And yep. she's 16? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. And so now she's, you guys are about to be empty nesters. She's a junior and in, going into junior year yes. high school? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm just so yep. glad that you got your girl. And I'm just going to say... Sorry. Still time, maybe. Granddaughter. More. Granddaughter. Yeah, exactly. yeah. There, yeah. You there you go. go. There you go. Yeah. That's, uh, That's where I'm and, you have gra and you have one grandchild. Mm -hmm. and we have a granddaughter another. and another one due any day. Yep. That's exciting. so fun. Yeah. The congrats. So I, I hear yeah. that that's the best, it's better than anything. It's the best. Yeah. It is. So, and they think you're so cool. Right. They, think, uh, yeah. they just think you're just the coolest. Right. Like, I love this thing. And kid. you don't have to discipline. No. You just get to love them and be there and drop in. And spoil them. And then when they're fussy or bratty. Exactly. A poopy diaper. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yep. I don't know That's how to so do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. What was the dynamic? And, and again, Lisa and I have talked about this. When you have kids who are all successful and different in their own right and great at different things, but you have one who's who's the known quantity. So a Christian McCaffrey or Trey McBride that everybody knows that is sort of the has reached a, a pinnacle of of their sport. What is the dynamic for the other siblings and how do you navigate that? Because I think there's always the fear that are we giving too much attention to this or the other one's okay. Was that a thing in your guys' house or was was that not a um, dynamic? I feel like we're pretty even. I mean, the yeah. kids might say something. You know, they mm -hmm. always think this one's my favorite or mm -hmm. this one's Jen's favorite or whatever. Yeah. Taya had no um, like time for it. When she went to high school and if the teachers – kept talking about Trey or Toby, she switched teachers. She does oh, not really? want to, she doesn't really? want to be known wow. as their mm. sister. And it was kind of nice during the pandemic because they wore a mask. So a lot of people didn't know who she was oh. <laughs> Interesting. for a long time, but oh, she yeah. doesn't want to talk about them. That's not, oh, she doesn't yeah. want to identify as right, their sister. Sure. She wants her own identity. Yeah. yeah um, but as far as like all the boys, uh, they've all been so supportive of each other. That's I mean, nice. so it's, okay. you know, so it's, a, but there's always a competition. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. No matter what. I do know what you mean. Yeah. But if no someone else what. pops in yeah. and starts, they'll defend each other. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, which absolutely. is nice. I know they I'm are sure. all. But yeah. yeah, head to head. Oh, yeah. Major. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the holes in the wall. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, how many? Yeah. yeah, what was you now? I'm a drywall stitchy. person. Oh, yeah. We have a drywall guy. Yeah. 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 On call. Right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yes. So it would just be body slamming into the walls at all times. Oh, and and punching. When guys get upset, they like to punch. Yeah. And so hollow doors and fists don't do well. Wow. But it's over then. Right. You know what right. I mean? That's a yeah, nice thing about doing so, Yep, yeah. they're done. One they're like, done, beep, yeah. bop, boop, and... Hey, best friend, let's go to the yeah. movies. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 You know, it's like I'd go call my girlfriends and we talk about each other for <laughs> yeah. a long time. Okay, so I want to hear uh, I want to hear the story of where the two of you met. Yeah. When did you Wait, when did I want you each of yours friends? version. Yeah, I know. I can tell like, 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 where it's like yeah. a completely <laughs> different story. Yeah, yeah you look at each other like, what? There wasn't there like this moment where we came in. We were friends. So I don't know where Where we, were you? Were you in Colorado? Yes, in Colorado. Colorado and so yeah. we're like friends of friends. So I don't yeah. I couldn't tell you like where, you know, yeah. we didn't just like meet at it the movies kind of or whatever. And, right. Yeah, and so we we kind of just been friends for for really years before. Oh, I mean, that's great. And then we met at a bar actually, and yeah, I, I was so. woo! You, know, you were playing a show. Listen, I was playing a gig, and Kate was my groupie. She's out taking off her bra and throwing it. I'm like, hey, look, I'm not that kind of girl. Like, Calm down, Kate. Oh yeah, that, that was the that first that was story. Such a stalker. No, there you yeah. go. Okay, so she, good. She, she's, she's, yeah, so when, I, when she first met me, she was not impressed with my... Uh, my uh, messing around and drinking and having fun and <laughs> yeah so and then we just like grew closer together yeah. so there's really oh, not yeah. like a yeah. A great story. We should make something. I know we really yeah. should. Yeah. Story. I do like the groupie story if you want to. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Or yeah. saved you from a rushing river. Yeah. yeah. You know like those rivers kayaking. in Greeley? They're like bad. You were kayaking. The the rivers in Greeley. Oh, the yeah. rivers in Greeley. Oh, they're really tough. I was really walking the nature trail. Yeah. Yeah. We could come Boyd up Lake. Yeah, Boyd Lake. You know. That you were kayaking. We could come up with something better. From a free kayaking accident. There we go. Better than. Was it in Greeley where you all met? Oh, okay. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So, yeah, and then we just... I, wait, you went to school there? Uh-huh. Yeah. And did you as well? No. No. Okay, mm-hmm. but you met there. Mm-hmm. Got it. Oh, okay. how fun. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. And then so, when did you guys decide to get married? Well, so that's also tricky because the laws <laughs> change every 10 minutes. Yeah, right. right. I mean, course, so yeah. we've right. been married like five times. I mean, yeah. so let's <laughs> keep going. I mean, that's great. I know, party let's do every it again. Time. Let's yeah. Party. Like, and every kid knows the other... Um, like a date. date. A weird so date. we're like, what? That's yeah. like one of the dates? <laughs> I'm like, what? Because we have like a civil <laughs> union date and we have, and then she adopted the kids because oh. before, you yeah. know, I was a single mom on the birth certificate oh, wow. and then they oh. added um, co-parent, I think is what mm-hmm. it's called. Mm-hmm. So then she had to technically go and adopt them all. I mean, so we have all these oh, weird wow. dates. Yeah. And so, I mean, I guess our real was Hawaii. We went to Hawaii. Okay. And that, we yeah, didn't invite anybody. We just sweet. like... Oh, just her and I, boom, that's and that's wonderful. it. So that was that was our the best minister. One. Yeah. yeah, and the minister was and there. The, what was the singer's name? Joey Lawrence. Yeah, he's a famous Hawaiian oh, yeah. singer. Hawaiian so we had singer. to oh, wow. play Wait. for us. Oh, yeah, not, say, not Joey, Joey Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. that would have been not that easy. Yeah. Yeah. Like Joey Lawrence and a boy band. <laughs> Who's that Joey Lawrence? I know. Uh, no, this is a Hawaiian singer. Okay, okay. In sync, we had in sync on the beach. Turn your story up and down. Like, really yeah. wow. She does still have the mullet. <laughs> I do. It's never going oh, away. It's, I love it. It's so good. Incredible. And did you always know that you wanted to have kids and emus and animals? I don't know and about 20 emus. Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I always out. wanted to have kids. I wanted eight. <clears throat> and when I was a kid, I would oh write gosh. down the names. Wow. So thankfully... For Bryce, um, the name Periwinkle didn't make the cut because that's what his name was going to be. Oh my be. God, you guys don't even know. This. Is that your son's name? So no, no. Oh. that would be. <laughs> there's no way you just. So the reason that we we're have that reaction, out. we're at dinner last night. So going back to onomatopoeia, when I'm saying that she made the joke that it's my safe word, I was saying that that's one of my favorite words, and we were very excited when we realized that you guys had a dog named onomatopoeia. And so then I asked Lisa and I said, "What are your favorite words?" And Lisa, without skipping a beat, looked at me and said, Periwinkle. Oh, that's sort of guy. And <laughs> I was like, that, that is, is so funny. Right. It's a beautiful that. word. Yeah. I don't even know it's what it is. About. Color. It's my favorite color. It's just yeah. so good. It's yeah. a great word. word. So I. Yeah. So you were going to name Periwinkle. a kid Periwinkle? Bryce was going to be Periwinkle or Maisha. <laughs> <laughs> he was a girl who was going to no, be Maisha. Had two very different. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I had a list of names, so I always and, knew I wanted kids. And how did you end up with Bryce from Periwinkle? So I had a really good friend named Bryce. Okay. And, um, so he got the name Bryce and I had a really good friend named Toby 
Okay. And so Toby. Cute. And then um, 90210 yes. was very popular when I was pregnant with the twins. So Dylan came Dylan, from 90210. Yeah. Dylan, yeah. Dylan, yeah. And Trey means third. Okay. So oh. whichever twin came first was going to be Trey. Oh. And my <coughs> Dylan is my third, too. That's yeah. funny. And you have Trey. Okay. And then when we had Taya, we realized that all the kids had a Y in their name. And it wasn't planned. And sure. so then I said... Well, we have to give her a Y or else one day yeah. she'll wonder why she didn't get a Y and everybody yeah. else got a Y. This is just so she loses sleep over. And I'm like, <laughs> really? You should have just gone back okay. to Periwinkle. I know. I was <laughs> like, it's okay. That's that a great news. story. I yeah. love that Periwinkle. What else was on the list of those names? <laughs> I don't remember now yeah. what Periwinkle was. My yeah, show. 902. I, mean, I know. I love that show, too. I was obsessed. Dylan and then Luke Perry. Yep. 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 Luke. Yep. Oh, there we go. So did you name all your... Dylan, no, they're not all 902 characters. Max is a good story. Yeah, our oldest is named Max. Our okay. first date was at Max's Opera Cafe in, oh. in Palo Alto, where the waiters and waiters would stand on the tables and sing opera, like fun. in the middle of like out of the blue. It was such a fun restaurant. I grew up in California. Oh, you, you did? did. Yeah. What part? In Orange County. Oh. Okay. And then why would you come here? School? Uh, to go to school, I wanted to be a teacher. Oh, a and great of course UNC. Program, yeah. And then I found out I didn't really like other people's kids. I was yeah. just going to say yeah. that. I had the same. I always thought I wanted to be a teacher, and then I'm like, no. yeah, I, I can't. God bless. Yeah. I would have been a teacher Absolutely. if it wasn't for the kids. Yeah. Hats yeah. off to, yeah. to online school. I can do that. <laughs> I, Every time yeah. I pick my kids up from preschool, I'm like, God, how do God you are doing them. God's work truly? Yeah. Like, yes, how absolutely. are you? Mm -hmm. able to handle these children all day. God bless them. So yeah. you guys never, ever considered homeschooling? Uh, you know, it wasn't a thing. It wasn't, it wasn't a thing. Heck no. Like, we yeah. made sure it wasn't a thing. No, no, no. Oh Two years of preschool. You got it. Yeah. Oh. You so what's the enough. very soonest they can get in? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 18 when months? We leave you? Montessori. Yeah. 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 I knew where all the safe surrender sites were. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes absolutely. Okay. I was, I was nice. in the preschool principal's office way more than with Trey and Dylan. Oh, though. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Preschool. They like, had their who got in the most trouble. Yeah. Who got in the most trouble? Out of all of them? Mm -hmm. Trey, 100. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And what who, kind of trouble? Yeah. Like just, stupid stuff. Just yeah. clowning yeah. trouble. Yeah. yeah, he's the class clown. You know, he was always goofing around. And but him and Dylan would get in like full on fist fights in preschool with each, <laughs> with each other. other. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. Love it. So yeah they'd be yeah. wrestling on the thing, and they're like, the teacher would be like, oh my gosh, they're fighting. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's well, normal. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Dylan was really good at headlocks. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's that's early age. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And who was the disciplinarian? Oh, definitely me. <laughs> Fight. Y'all like, want to talk amongst yourselves? What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You ask any of the kids who was harder on them. They'll yeah, say you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Really? Man, I felt like I was really hard on them. But That's, yeah. Maybe you're, not. No, you're the pushover. Nah. I'm the pushover. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, listen. There needs listen. to be one, though. I know. There's well, I would always tell them, I'm like, listen. Your boys, I know you're gonna cuss, okay? Yeah. Cuss it up. Go outside, cuss it, cuss it up. Do whatever with your friends, whatever. You guys wanna be like, oh, poop this, poop that. <laughs> But do not cuss in front of your mother or mm -hmm. your sister. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's my role. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. fair. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Cuss yeah, it up. Whatever. Enough. Cuss it up. Get out there. Yeah. Get that's out weird because my boys never cussed ever. Yeah. They haven't yet. <laughs> they have never. I'm looking at them like, wow, good job. Never, ever. And our <laughs> oldest, when he was <laughs> in the Navy, <laughs> he wrote me a text once about something that was cool. And he goes, Mom, it was bad A dollar sign dollar sign. No, yeah. <laughs> and I go, Honey, you can <laughs> say that word. As long as you can spell it. He's like, Mom, it's so weird. I can't say it to you. So now it's a joke in our family. Yes. A dollar sign dollar sign. Yeah. Because my five year old dropped an F bomb the other day. Pass <laughs> 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 the potatoes. Oh, <laughs> Um, tell me about, I want to hear about uh, the draft experience for you guys, because we've been able to talk to some different moms. We had Sam Darnold's mom on and Ryan Leaf's mom on, and to hear, you know, draft night, and Lisa's shared, you know, when Christian was drafted, everybody kind of has gone about it different ways. Some go, some stay at home, some throw parties. So tell us what draft night was like for the McBrides. Oh, it was so exciting. It was so stressful. Yeah. I'm like, everybody was just pins mm. and needles, and I... You know, me, I'm like, I like to, everybody loosen up a yeah. little bit, you know? Yeah. I get that and, vibe from you, which I love. Yeah, and you can't, That's like, in, I knew, like, I was like, man, we really need to loosen this up, but no one would, you know, we all didn't drink because you're mic'd up the whole night, mm -hmm. everywhere you, you go, okay, yeah. everywhere you walk. Who was it? Uh, the NFL. NFL, okay. Yeah. NFL Network. And so you were at home. 
No, no, no. no we no. were in Fort Collins. Oh, okay, Trey and Toby okay. planned the whole party. They, oh, they, no they found the location. Yes. They picked oh, the food. Yeah. And yeah. where'd you guys go in Fort Collins? It was uh, CB Potts. Oh, oh yeah. Really yeah. nice oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. guy nice. that um, he does a lot of CSU stuff. Um, they do like right. a, was, a show every Monday. Yeah, yes, sports okay. show. yeah the okay. owner was fantastic. He's oh. just like, here's your room. And, you know, do it here. This would be great. And, oh, and took care of them. And, and how many people were there? <sighs> Probably like 50. Probably. Wow. It was and a, and Joel Dreesen came. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he was only going to come on. What, it was Thursday and Friday or Friday and Saturday. I can't remember the two days. Mm-hmm. But he was only going to come the first day. And his wife came. Mm-hmm. And um, it was, you get different information from the agents. And obviously mm-hmm. nobody knows, you know. But um, we kind of thought he was going to go in the first round. And when he didn't, of course, there's this. And you kind of know ahead because you have the mic on. So you're yeah, a little bit ahead. You know, like you hear. Right. Yeah, so we knew he TV, wasn't yeah. going to get drafted. And so he and nobody behind us knew. Okay. And then he was upset. Yeah. And um, he was more upset because he he was embarrassed. He's like, all these people oh. came to support me. Oh. And we're like, that doesn't matter. No. Like, you're going to go tomorrow. Yeah. It's no big deal. Yeah, right. we're here. It doesn't it doesn't yeah. matter. And he, yeah, he was just so oh. just upset yeah, about it. Yeah, he felt responsible. Yeah. Like, he let somebody down. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. And it. Joel had the best words for him. I oh. mean, because he'd been through it. And he said, you right. know what? This isn't going to matter. Right. It's and not. tell people it it. who Dreesen is, just for those yeah. listening who don't So he know. he's from Fort Morgan, and he played for the Texans and the Broncos and the Jets. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't he, know if he He, he retired from the Broncos. Right. He was right. played tight with your husband. Well. Yeah. Tight yeah. Oh, no, I don't think they overlapped. Oh, I but, thought oh. they did. Okay. I don't think, no, I didn't. Did Mama no, said, no, but you he, would know. <laughs> maybe. But he's been a great role model for everyone. And he's a great role model for everyone. I think he came to a few of our, when our kids were playing Little League, he came to their games and supported them and gave some people some tips and advice. Just what a great, great guy. And, yes. and the Such boys have come guy. up and stayed cool. with him. And he's kind of taught trade of golf because a lot I mean, of business deals are made yeah. on the golf oh, course. Right. 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 That. Plus, it's a nice outlet. Like right. Yeah. 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 And they'd watch film and do all the guy things right. that tight ends do together. Yeah, I mean, it's been he have, perfect. He has like a garage that he's converted like a man cave. I don't know. I haven't somewhere. been there. But <laughs> ni- nice. His wife is yes. so nice. Yeah. Oh, they're so And so he was just like, it's not going to matter. I know it feels like it right now, but it's not going to matter. And that was good for him. And then we kind of closed it down because. It was time for Trey to go with his brother and yeah, decompress. He, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then the next day we you do we it all it again. again. We were right. amped up. We yeah, were ready right. to go. And, and it's it yeah. so stressful. And it was still. And the yeah. NFL crews were still there. And, oh, yeah. and, but there was more. There was local newscasters there oh, that day. Okay. Yeah. And so you're in a room, and all the cameras are pointed at you. Oh. And it was different that day. They had us sitting at the couch because the first time we weren't at the couch. Mm-hmm. So they had us sitting at the couch. And what does it start at? Thirty. I think, or 31. Mm-hmm. So from 31 to 55, you're sitting there. And we all had to use the restroom. <laughs> and so we're, they're like, okay, it's a commercial. This is a good time. So we all got oh, up no. to use the restroom. Oh, no, but it's a good time for the TV. But <laughs> Right. Yeah. And so I guess Trey got the call in the restroom, and he didn't answer his phone. Who doesn't answer the phone, <laughs> right, on, on draft day? So good. And so then they like, will call him back. Yeah, yeah, right? Big deal. I'm busy. Neat. Yeah. And um, oh it was God. one of the reporters that came running in. Yeah. It was no. a female, and she's like, Trey's phone's ringing, Trey's phone's ringing. And so we're all trying to get back. <laughs> we're all oh, scrambling, so trying to remember where we were sitting. You know, it's like, okay, right here. Assume that is so it was great. Funny. And so it was the second call that Trey answered. They were going to call, because you have to give them, like, I guess, right. a bunch of numbers, uh-huh. and they were going to call Toby next if Trey didn't answer. Oh, my gosh. So he answered, and, you know, he, and then you can't hear, you can only you hear can't his hear, part right, right. Yeah. of the conversation. Yeah. And Did you know which team it was? We didn't know. So all of us are looking at each other and trying to figure it out. like, at the TV, I'm like, I was it holding it up Philadelphia? Like, yeah. <laughs> Joel figured it out. Joel went over and got okay. the right because he, he, at some point, Trey was talking about a couple of the players, yeah. And then, so Joel how long was he on the phone for? Well, that surprised me. So, I thought it was going to be a two or three minute yeah. phone call, yeah. and it was probably 15 minutes, oh, yeah. Because wow. you just yak, and they're just yakking, the yeah. we're all like this, owner sometimes, and, and it's really long stressed. when you're waiting, oh, right? Right, we're yeah. just like on the edge. I was sitting next to him, and he had his head down because when Trey gets stressed, you know, he's just like, yeah. and yeah, and he had his, I think he had the mic in one ear yeah. and the phone. And, oh. and so, you know, and I'm just trying to support him and, you know, sure. trying to listen. <laughs> right. Trying to remember what sport this is for. Yeah. 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 And then somebody was like, I was trying to talk to Toby behind his back and, uh-huh. you know, like say a team and Toby would be really slow. Like, you know, because <laughs> there's all these cameras yeah, on Yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Because I think it was like Philadelphia that was next. And I'm like, he's going to Philadelphia? Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's all right. Here we go. Yeah, it's a yeah. long flight. That's all I can think. Tallying. And those are cold winners, too. Those are, uh-huh. those are, those are cold uh-huh. games. Uh-huh. 
but yeah. I, I could so it's really stressful. Cheesecake. Yeah, it, at that, it that's is. what it's. I mean. Yeah. It is, and then it's, it's very just stressful. then when yes, it's very done, stressful. Yeah, it's just like right, right. and then it it's a blur. Goes, yeah, because yeah. yeah. there's pictures and everybody yes. flocks him. And yeah, and then you're like walking out, and he's like, "What? Uh, what do you have to say about this?" And you're like, "Yay!" Yeah, <laughs> right. like, I don't know what like, to say. I <laughs> and I think I called um, Kyler Murray Kyle. Yeah, I was she did. So yeah. stressed so and yeah. nervous. Oh my gosh! And I'm like, "Oh, Kyle!" I'm like, "Oh, I'm so he's, he's, he's making, making so much money. He's not going to throw the tray now because you called." I, bet, I, I that think that I may have ruined it. Fault. Yeah. I know. It's my <laughs> exactly. fault. When he my doesn't fault. get a Sorry, single Trey. policy, yeah. we all know why. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> oh, she said Kyle. Did he have, was Arizona on the radar of potential? Yeah. I mean, did, did you guys have a sense of, or did he feel like he had a sense of? We'd heard. We, yeah, we'd heard Arizona. Um, we knew Dallas really liked him. I guess that Jim Jones mm -hmm. really liked um, Trey. Uh, so I, I think that was going to be where he went if Arizona didn't pick him. I, that's what we'd heard because yeah, they were 56. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So we knew so, it was going yeah. okay. soon. Okay. And the Broncos um, wanted him, but they were later, later on, too far yeah. down. Oh, that was And they picked the next tight end, actually. Oh, so, really? Um, that Greg, I don't know his last name, but they chose him, so... Their loss. Just, yeah. Yeah. Whoops. And how has it been for Trey? I mean, I know when we when we talked for the first time on the phone, there was some, uh, was it a, like a meeting for parents or a call for parents that you guys <laughs> yeah, had so to the do? The Cardinals that sort of had like me. three so days nice. of, um, of Rookie 101. Rookie 101. Really? For, yeah, for it the was parents. Fantastic. And girlfriends and maybe wives. I don't know if yeah, there's any wives, yeah. but it was very informative. Yeah. Awesome. And you got to meet some of the staff. And, and was it in person or was no, it Zoom? It was on Zoom. Good. And I mean, they just, amazing. yeah, they came on and kind of told us like what to expect, you know, at first. Right. That they're not going to be calling you every day. Which he does call us every day, but <laughs> like, yeah, you don't know Trey. Wait, 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 money what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, we had dinner so with him every night on on Facetime because Aww. yeah, because he, yeah. when he was at camp, when you like the camps, yeah, yeah. they're in the hotel room. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah they're lonely. Yeah. It's lonely. Right. They don't have a car. Lonely. Lonely. They're not old it's... enough to rent a car. Right. Oh, we have the same thing. So yeah. Crazy oh, it was insane. Yes. I know. So. Yeah, I mean, that's so very cool. I had yeah. never heard of when I was telling Lisa that I said, "Yeah, it was when." And she goes, "I don't remember that. Like, that's I didn't know that that was a thing." And the, I, so it must oh, be the one on one, yeah, yeah, like, no very reason. Awesome. Yeah, I, or that's they really might have cool. had. I just didn't get invited. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, they were like, like, don't, don't tell her. Yeah, it was nice. Stuff. And then when we flew out, still have too many questions. She's really annoying. And when we flew out there to see him, then we stopped by his camp one day. He was still practicing. He told us what time to come, and then you know I connected with the guy who kind of ran it. And we met the head of security. And, oh, I mean, that's good to really know, nice. the head of security. Because yeah. if you ever, sounds silly, but like if you don't know where your seats are, you don't know where to get the tickets, they're yeah. always your, your best friend. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Came, yeah. <laughs> just, just very, very nice people. All Welcome of them. Good. Just, yeah. And Arizona good. in general, like yeah. the service, point. like we go to restaurants and people are just so like, Aww. hey, how are you Really? Going? Do oh, they know great. who you are? Like, they no. Know. No. no. They oh, that's They're fantastic. just oh, happy nice. there. They're just so nice. So you guys are moving to Arizona. Because we're in the same. A lot of vitamin D, yeah. they're healthy. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. it. That must be it. That is. So, that must have been really. I don't know. I just think that's really cool that they did it, and it, it's, it's awesome. It's, it really because as as parents, you know, you, you're okay. Now your son is a professional right. football player, and whatever comes, all the things that come with that. But to be able to feel like included and a part of the process, and right. if, know who to call if you have questions or right. if you need anything, or right. I just I, right. I love that. And yeah. don't we all probably have the same questions? I mean, exactly. Yeah. Right. When do they come home again? Right. right. And, <laughs> Where are they living? Right. right. Yeah. And, and in yeah. reality, they're you know they they they're men, but they're still young. Right. Yes. Men, yes, you know that don't know in, everything in, in about weird ways, the world. You know, almost more immature than a regular college student because their schedules are so mm -hmm. mapped out. The minute yes. they wake up to the minute they go to sleep yep. between school and um, football, that it's almost like they're a little bit, you know, delayed in some Absolutely. in some ways. You know, regarding scheduling and, and making your figuring out your own time. Yeah, yeah. so still, I, I give a hard time to the. I work with a lot of coaches at the Pac-12, and I always say like. Coaches, they can't, it, they can't even schedule themselves. Like they just need the schedule. They need the like. Right. They need to know, and it's it's because they've always followed, and everything has been mapped out to the minute. And so then, when all of a sudden, you don't have that the stress of feeling like, where okay, where, where do, do I go? go? Right. Do I get we joke about that with Trey when we go on vacation because he's <laughs> like, 
What, yeah. what time's breakfast? Yeah. Right. And then what are Where's we going to do gym? after lunch? Where do I work and out? <clears throat> what, what time? Where are we having lunch? Yeah, I'm like, we're on vacation. So There's no time. And he's and like, that, no, I need to know. That's not going to work yeah. for me. And Kate and I are very spontaneous. We'll be like oh. driving a zoo. You, you okay. want to go to the zoo? Yeah, let's go to the zoo. You know, we're like, like, that's not. Well, I want to hang out with you guys. Yeah, we're yeah. just like, yeah. Oh, an emu fight? Let's go. We don't care. Yeah, we don't care. We're just like, we just do whatever. But also going along with the college is they they feed them right so you know they never have to want for a meal mm-hmm. they, they take care of everything they're everything, laundry exactly yeah. they're i mean everything these guys right. don't have to do anything but play football i'll yeah. tell you i was i was talking to a few sta- outgoing stanford seniors and i was uh, at the end of just a couple months ago i hosted their um athletic banquet and i was talking to a few of them and just these incredible incredible student athletes who have accomplished so much and are going on to be like neurosurgeons and they said i said what's the one thing that you kind of wish that you um, knew from the beginning and, and to a person, every single one said, I just wish that I had realized, and you're, you're just starting to realize it now as we're getting into the real world of how much support we had. And it is anything that you needed truly. Yeah. It was, it was there yeah. and whatever you were kind of looking for in it. And, and that is, they said, we just sort of, I don't want to say we took it for granted, but you don't, <laughs> there's so much structure in place to help support you, which is right. yeah. wonderful. One time Christian was at um, breakfast and he, um, took too big of a a bite of steak and choked and he was choking (laughs) when was this when he was at Stanford Stanford, yeah and so most people would be like I call 911 or do this no he called the trainer well the trainer came picked (laughs) him up took him to the ER had to go in they had to go in and take it out and dislodge the steak are you serious swear not lying. But he, so he could obviously still breathe. He could still breathe enough that it was, it was okay. A, but yeah, but he called the trainer for the <laughs> yeah, team. Yes. Like, that like, is. Not yeah. like a doctor or this, like most people, like, how do I navigate this? What do I do? Like, no, but you probably got a faster response. And it was all taken care of. And it was all taken like, care of. I'm yeah. like, what? No, there is. Where that's are you? <laughs> I know. I know. You anyway. Yeah. yeah. And that and is, come, that yeah. is a prime example. Yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. They get flus or colds and they call their trainer and it will be like, hey, just go get some Mucinex. Yeah, right. Oh no, nope. Got to call my trainer. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> and they and they'll run it over to him for. Yeah. They'll run it over to their house sometimes. Oh, oh, I'm like, son, we raised all of you. I mean, we you guys the, didn't yeah. like you right. know, yeah. die of anything. So <laughs> we do know a couple things. But. What is the thing that you guys worry the most about when they were younger? Do you worry more now? You know, the main thing is, that I guess what what I worry probably well, we both worried was that. Um, and not worried, but we wanted them to be just good human beings. Mm-hmm. And that was all, you know, it was like manners and, you know, being kind to people. And, I mean, that was a major thing. Like, you know, yes, I love that you play football. Yes, I love that you play basketball because I love watching them play and do whatever they want to do. But, you know, I would tell them, <clears throat> listen, you guys, I want people in the world to be able to say, I go, here's two scenarios. P- you know, you, come, you guys come in and they say, oh, here comes the McBride boys. Mm-hmm. Or would you like people to say, hey, here comes the McBride yeah. boys. Um, that was always my... That's awesome. <laughs> and, and yeah. I, uh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> it's that people is. who make the room right. Yeah. Right. It's a, and it, so, you know, just, you know, we just really wanted them to be just nice human beings. Aww. Be good to people, yeah. you know. Yeah. And this is kind of what we preached, I guess, you know, more work. Well, yeah. and, and I would say that that's in everything that I've read, that you guys are very community oriented, that you are service oriented. And so I imagine the best way to have your kids understand how important it is to treat people well is just to treat people well. I mean, is what is that? Yeah. Was that yeah. sort of our family motto is everybody has something to give. So I mean, mm-hmm. even if it's, you know, time or whatever, Aww. you can give something. I love that. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just kind of what, and I, I thought it was cute. Like she does these um, homeless bags and they have like socks in them or oh, snacks and water and sure. all that stuff. And, and so she, she has done it for years and she'll put them in all our cars and, you know, and so then we're like, somebody, oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, then we just give them that. that. So, um, I thought it was so cute. The boys, um, called her one time and said, will you make us some of those? And they were, <laughs> when they were in college and I'm like, oh yes, that's awesome. 
awesome. Toby oh tried God. to get it so organized cute. for the football team, but yeah. you know how hard it is to organize yeah. things. So it never, yeah. never yeah. Yeah. manifested. But yeah, I, I just thought that was cool. That sweet, but they yeah. probably see you doing that and then you know they emulate yeah. you which is yeah. awesome which yeah. is great yeah. absolutely and that's when it goes back to overthinking and we've talked about this yeah. when you overthink like you want to instill all these things and teach them and make sure they have these values and what and at the end of the day what they see is right. sort of that's that's the best thing i think that you can do absolutely sometimes yeah. absolutely just to be that person that you want your kid to turn right. into well and just this last week um dylan well dylan i think and toby told us um you know thank you for making us have manners because we used to make oh. them say no, thank you, but thank you for asking. And uh, there was lots of fights when they were kids because kids <laughs> okay. don't want to say that. Uh-huh. And Dylan, Dylan was really that. talking about it, and um, he's like, "Thank you for making yeah. us oh. have manners. It see? makes such you a see? difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It really does. It was yeah. worth all the fights." How, do you, how <laughs> did you get that? I mean, because I'm in the battle of the mm. please, no, thank you. That's not my preference. There's all these different <laughs> things, and like. Every time I have to remind him. So now we've started, okay, you have to wait a minute. I'm going to set a timer and you have to ask me with a full sentence and manners before we can restart this because I'm not going to remind you every single time. So like, what was there? Yeah, that's good. Well, that's yeah, or, good. Or, or that if they working. asked for a drink at a restaurant and the waitress bought, brought their drink and they didn't say thank you, they didn't get it. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a good one. It's consequences. I like yeah, follow I mean, through. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, they didn't get it. I and mean, we, we just think we're like, we're so hardcore. But you know, it's like, <laughs> And then would you just <laughs> chug it? Yeah. Like, All right. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. I love a Shirley Temple. Five of them. Yeah, I'm gonna chug five for like a week. <laughs> yeah, I think consequences. You just have to, and you have yeah, to follow through. and stick to yeah. them. Right, you know? that's the hardest part. Following through, it's absolutely, because yeah. it's easy to be like, oh, oh. it doesn't matter. This Deal time. with it later. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. but uh, yeah, I mean, I just, you know, and I think, yeah, just be kind to people, and I, I you know. So, I, how did you navigate when people weren't kind to them? I'm sure, like Trey being successful, absolutely. people were jealous and whatnot, and I'm sure they've got backlash for well, between I'm sure Twitter. You know, that's, they're mean to everyone. But I'm sure there's a, how did you navigate that when someone was mean to your kids? And what I think it do? depends on the age. Obviously, yeah. when they're little and they can't defend themselves, you know, is that how you'd want a friend to treat you, that kind of thing. But as they got older, they they did their own thing. I, I mean, I, I think about people that, like, were mean to Toby on Twitter, and then years later... The guy comes up and apologizes to Toby. Wow. You know? I read that. Yeah. Story. Can, would you share that story? Because it was in a Denver Post article that I yeah, read. Yeah, so there was a, a, you know, Brush is our rival town. town right. Right. You know, right. we're right. small town people. So it's like Broncos I, and Raiders. Yeah. And, and people always Brush said things to the boys about um, being genetically engineered because they were all from sperm oh donors, you know, or... Yeah, like we had scientists whip but up with batches, yeah, yeah. Just a, you know, like, like super sperm. I mean, we've heard it all, right? And oh so, my gosh. Yeah, course, even think that. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, or because no they're way. all athletic, so of course we. Yeah, chemically followed yeah. around yeah. us, football yeah. players. Could you make a sample, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my gosh! <laughs> Luckily, you guys, your kids were younger, no. so we didn't ask them. Yeah, we were but um, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you just like whipped up a milkshake. Yeah. So, so I mean, so they heard that all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Or when they'd win. Oh, that's because they're genetically, genetically engineered stop. kids. No, really. Oh, people absolutely. Would, not to us, but they would say it to people yeah. and then people would tell us. And I'm like, man, you're giving a lot of credit to that. I'm <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, We're not that's that all smart, on them. but yeah. hey. Yeah. yeah. But, but thank yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, so I'm sure they had their own responses for that. Sure. You know, and I'm sure there was some tuffles about it but i do remember this one guy who tweeted something toby had won nationals in wrestling and toby was oh, an wow. amazing wrestler That's i mean incredible. he once stayed and oh. he, he would pick these guys up and just throw them to the ground like they were nothing it was the most awesome thing wow um and so some guy said something well of course he won because he's genetically engineered spit baby or something like that and um, years later, I hope Toby. I hope Toby body slammed him when he <laughs> Toby's like. Took well, the yeah. kid, oh. he wasn't a sports kid at all. You oh, know, he was I mean, just one of those. But then years later, when Toby yeah. turned twenty-one, we were celebrating, and the kid happened to be there, and he came up to him and said, "I'm really sorry." You know, wow. like you're. Aww. He's like, I was really immature, and we were, no we were all just down there. Like, that was really That's big. That's actually that really actually big. Okay. Okay. I feel redeemed. Yeah. I feel so now. What did Toby yeah. say? Yeah. Wow. I mean, he told he us about it. Yeah. yeah. We weren't privy to the conversation. But, right. I mean, it happens with everybody. We had a teacher yeah. who called Toby up in high school and said, this is this is what steroids looks like to the whole class. Shut up. And no, I was we did like, get involved in that one. I was going to say, I'm like, that's an adult who's yeah. so inappropriate. He didn't lose his job. 
But I was just like, you're taking no. away from his hard work. This is not I just steroid. Can't even imagine wow. what, what I mean, an adult would say that. that I, that's but such a. I don't even have. I don't even respond to and that. And mama bear, those. Ha- yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. the hackles. Of oh, course. Yes. As you, you should. Me? I mean, like yeah. I just got angry. Yeah. yeah. Just, I want. Where is that teacher's house? Because yeah. I want to go egg it. <laughs> is right? That all right. Right. We'll toilet paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you handle when? I mean, because I wow. still feel like, when, and my kids are little, but when you see them being mistreated or you see them hurting, it's. So much harder than someone being mean to you, right? We can all yeah, navigate between right. being mean to us over the years. But when you see your kid going through it or you see something on Twitter, I even, I, the thing about the biceps and the that somebody was giving Trey a hard time for um, the, oh, the uh, Bible verses. tattoos on yeah. his biceps. And you're like, they're Bible verses. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Somebody's like, I can't even read his arms. There's so much writing on him. And I was like, seriously? Well, it's not yeah. yours. And yeah. I don't know. We've talked to him, yeah. you know, about things and... They just kind of vent, yeah. you know, they'll just vent to us about yeah. things. But really, I mean, and I, you know, we're always like, don't go on to Twitter. Don't yeah. go and say, yes. well, I can't read your face or, you yeah, know, whatever right. people say to each yeah. other. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it doesn't, you know, yeah. I'm gonna use like, it doesn't, yeah. I can't read <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Yeah, it it really matter. doesn't. And, um, and, and all this, I mean, and, and Lisa, you know, you know, I mean, when you, you know, especially like when you go through high school and you go through college, you know, you go through, you know, friends that you had and then they kind of slip off because, you know, their kids maybe didn't do so well or whatever. And you kind of mm-hmm, get that jealousy yeah. thing and, right. and you can feel it, oh, totally. you know, Absolutely. you can feel it and, yes, it, and it's, it's, true. it's sad, but I mean, we're just the same people. We don't, right. you know. I think you outgrow people in your life. You yeah, just do. yeah, and, yeah. And for the most part, I think the boys handle their own, yeah, their own stuff. I mean, and they're they're probably more mature than we are. I probably yeah, get I more angry <laughs> I about stuff. Too. I mean, she gets I'm fired. I'm like, yeah. did you see what they're saying uh, about Trey? And Trey's right. like, Mom, it's fine, it's fine. And I'm like, yeah. no, it's hard, <laughs> say, I think it's funny. Just, it's hard right. to see that. Christian was at um, somebody's house in LA, uh, Laird Hamilton. He's a professional surfer's house, and he was training there with him. Um, this just past off season, and um, Laird's wife. Gabrielle Reese, who was a professional volleyball player herself, um, they um, she came and she goes, oh my gosh, Laird, you're getting so much criticism. Um, he said something about, uh, there was something that people misinterpreted about a female surfer. I don't even know what the story was. I could, I'd care less. And he goes, hey, are they at my door? Are they in my house? Are they at the gate? Are they, they're not even here. Like, why, why are you even telling me this? It right. doesn't matter. Right. What matters is right there what's happening in my house, my own family, and the people that, you know, are, are with me till the end. That, those are the people that matter. And people you've never met before that are commenting on Twitter, you can't let it, you can't let it bother. People have told me yeah. that and you can't help it because yeah. I'm the same way. I get yeah. like mother bear and I want to like rip someone's balls off, but um, that's besides <laughs> the point. Um, but you can't do that. And then at the end of the day, you just have to worry about, you know what? Everyone in my household's okay. We all support each other and that's what matters. Right. Right. Anything, That's why I said they're way more yeah. mature. It's right. probably illegal to rip someone's balls off, right? Yeah, yeah. probably. probably, it's probably really a say. police officer. Yes, yeah. yes. You know, right? yeah. Isn't that one of the rules? Yeah, the it, it probably is. It's probably in the statute yeah. somewhere. <laughs> or, or when they make a bad play. I mean, oh, that yeah. hasn't oh, happened Lord. to us yet, but I'm, I'm anticipating right. what that's going to be like. Yep. Well, and what I was going to say is, Lisa, is there any, I mean, along with this, I don't know if it's advice, but like, is there anything that you kind of wish you had known when Christian first got into the league that would be helpful? For them um, as they navigate don't rip balls off. Yeah. yeah, don't and don't and you know, yeah. The only thing I mean, just like I kind of said, take it in stride and just yeah. ignore all that and just focus on Trey and how he's doing and how he's feeling. And there, I mean, a football season is like it's like a microcosm of life. There's so many ups and downs, and one minute you're on top of the world, the next minute you may be on the bottom, you know, bottom barrel. So it's just up and down, and just kind of ride the storm. You can't get too high and you can't get too low. You have to just navigate it, and it's easy yeah. for me to say because I do. I get high and low, sure. and it's hard not to. But trying to learn to just be more level head with the whole thing, both yeah. both extremes. Because right. the minute you're, you know, oh wow, this is the best, it's and something bad happens. So. Um, and I apologize to all the people out there whose whose fantasy teams were ruined the last two years because Christian was injured. So you can that maybe was, yeah, that's that that's forward. what everyone's waiting for. You can for. tweet me. So, yeah, I apologize. <laughs> you ruined your life and ruined your people fantasy will come team. Come up to so. us to ask how Christian is yeah. doing, but they want to know for their fantasy team. Hundred percent. Yeah. Most of the time. And for a while, I was getting mad about it. I'll be honest. And then yeah. I just I had to learn to laugh. I'm yeah. like, ah. Oh. 
you're living in that fantasy world. Like, yeah. okay, but in reality, uh-huh. he actually is hurt and he's a person and it's hard yes. on him. But yeah. it's just, it's funny. And I get it. No, I get it. And my oldest son plays fantasy football and he's the, the commissioner of his league. So <laughs> while I'm like getting mad at somebody for, you know, ridiculing like, Christian, yeah. calling his Max brother. is like, hey, how are you doing? And by the way, how's um, so-and-so playing? Is DJ healthy? And so I'm like, oh is it, Are you back yet? Come yeah. on, let's go. <laughs> Should I trade you? I have you yeah. on my bench. Let's, Should I what's going on? Right? <laughs> we, we actually had a guy come out, of, a husband and wife came out to look at puppies and it clicked at some point during the conversation and he's like, Trey McBride, is that your son? He's he's on my fantasy football yeah. league. Oh, oh my god, we'll started. get ready. Yeah, yeah. we'll just. All I'm I guess is you have to laugh about it. You no, have to. That was the first time I had that. I was like, luckily, everybody, but everybody doesn't depend solely on tight ends. Running backs is a different oh, story. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you know? I don't. I don't play fantasy, but in the fantasy world, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. A running backs a big deal. <laughs> yeah, I did learn yes. that. Well, and then one year he did well. So see, this is along the lines yep. of taper it. But we and we went to a restaurant and we got a free meal. Oh, the chef had won his fantasy. He said. I was like, Christian, and that we like went to pay so the bill, and the like, chef wrote a little note. And we're like, oh, right. Oh, right. right. Oh, and then the, the next year, I think he's probably spitting in our food, but that's okay. <laughs> we had that free meal, so that was good. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, funny. That so that's nice. funny. Yeah. <laughs> is Trey, I mean, how is he, how does he handle the nerves and emotions that, that come with this stage of you? I mean, he obviously hasn't played in a game yet, but what's the, um, what's the sense of how do you think he'll be able to handle going from the college level up to the highest level you can play. I, you know, Trey's like a, um, he kind of studies. So it's like, you know, his first whack out of the bag, he'll be, you know, just kind of watching everything and kind of taking it all in. Mm-hmm. And he, he gets anxious and kind of nervous and whatever. But, you know, it's just so funny because, but he always has to have somebody better than him because then he just, he will focus on that person. Mm-hmm. You know, Zach right. Ertz right now, and Max, say, yeah, you know, Zach he's yeah. eyeballing them. Yeah, yeah eyeballing them, yeah. and, and uh-huh. that's good for him, yeah. you know, because, you know, he had Toby um, at CSU, and he just, you know, he yeah. just wants to, you know, always be better, and that's that's good for him sure. to right. start that's a great here. trade in the yeah. NFL, really yeah. good yeah. trade. And yeah. so always <laughs> having that, you know, to... A little carrot in front yeah. of him just and to it, strive for, yeah, yeah. keep him motivated. yeah. And so he's, well. And he yeah. likes the fan. Like, he's the guy that's trying to get everybody, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Good. And he yeah. doesn't mind. Like, he signs things for little kids and, and people. You know, he doesn't care. Right. And, picks people and I think up. that's I was nice. just going to say, I can't wait to him one day up. and ask yeah. him if he can pick me up. Yeah. You do it, please, because <laughs> yeah. that'll make me laugh. My brother used to pick people up and he'd say, you, if you didn't want to get picked up, you shouldn't have gotten in line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's a great line. So <laughs> tell Trey he can use it. It's so good. And how are your guys' nerves watching him? Because Lisa was. We, we've talked to two a lot yeah. about Lisa. You know, it's you're so tightly wound sometimes that it's hard to kind of enjoy it because you're so invested and you want them to do well and you're nervous and all the rest. But how how do you feel? You're when worried you're about the bathroom most of the time. You aren't you? Sure. Yeah, I was just saying I'm not nervous at <laughs> yeah. all. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Um, I I mean I'm invested in Trey. So. Right. Uh, Go Cardinals and go Trey, and yeah. I'm just there, and I'm That's watching great. Trey play. Yeah. So, and I'm the nerd with binoculars. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> like Trey, what did he? Oh, cut that oh did you cut that route short? Yeah, yeah. 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 blocking. I, think, oh, I love it. <laughs> she's, she's like. And I'm going to carry around my binoculars everywhere I go. <laughs> the, <so>. the <laughs> senior bowl, you went to the bathroom and left the binoculars. And so I was watching. And that was the worst thing I could do because they're not nice out there when you can no, really yeah. see it. Yeah, you don't want to see, see what's Trey, I saw Ooh. some of the words that you were saying. Uh, yeah. so you're an instigator. I don't appreciate that. Yeah. You're yeah. cussing it up out there. So no. I'm not watching through the I binoculars. Told her, don't ever use those again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You can see a lot. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so for the Arizona Cardinal fans who are listening to this, is there what, what is there like one thing that, that you'd want them to know about your son? He'll work hard. He mm-hmm. will work so hard. And he and he he'll be so loyal to whatever team he's on. And he loves Arizona and he loves all the guys on the team already. And he's gonna do good things. Yeah, I good. mean he's you know, his first year, it's going to be learning, but he will do good things. Mm-hmm. He's just made and he's for funny. It. Yeah, he's funny. Good. Yeah, that'll, I can tell he gets it. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> that'll, that'll make it. Good. When he was going um, to college, did he look at any other schools? 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. He he Boy, actually yeah. thought about CU, and then I my concern was, well, what am I going to wear to the CU CSU? <laughs> right. Well, I mean that's priority. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. right. I was, so, I was actually well, trying was to figure out who could make CSU. one of those half jerseys. Right. <laughs> that's what I right. was worried about. Yeah. Yeah. He. Um, yes. Yeah, CU. So um, that Wyoming. Good. Yeah. Wyoming. Wyoming. I was thinking about how cold I was going to be uh-huh. for yeah. the games. <laughs> right. It's about me. It is. Yeah. Well, it should be as it should be. Right. What about him? And honestly, if he went to another team, I'd have to go to double the amount of football games. Right. Yeah. So. It would have been a lot. It would have been a lot. I'd have been okay with it. (laughs) So we got that narrowed down. (laughs) Yeah. You own the The, One of the last few things that we always kind of try and wrap up with, and I just appreciate you both so much. This has been awesome, and I feel like we could go another three hours, but (laughs) I want to make sure that you get home to your your new puppies. And also... Ed McCaffrey wants one of the puppies. He told us last <laughs> night. He said we were going to bring. Well, two, that's the one, yeah. They need a buddy, right? You can't bring home one puppy. You need two. So he would kill we'll, me. We'll figure out that paperwork after. We as wrap much this as up. I would but, like it. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine if we actually he would, brought two he would puppies leave me. home. He would, yeah. He would leave well, me. then we can Although, move in together. Maybe I should. Yeah, we've been mm. talking about moving to LA and yeah. the podcast studio. So yeah. this yeah. is how. Yeah. They just what? They were left on our doorstep. The store. We didn't ask them. They just they just felt like you needed it. Um, what when you look back. And there's kind of two parts to this. One is, is there something that you did that you felt like, because parents try so hard on all these different things and we want to make sure that we're doing the right thing. That Was there one thing that you felt like that genuinely made a difference with your kids? And maybe it harkens back to what you were saying earlier about wanting to make sure that they were good people and had good manners. But for a parent out there listening that just feels like there's so many decisions and so many different things to worry about, was there, could you boil it down to one or two things that you feel like is sort of the crux of it? I mean, I just think like we just love them. And I know every parent says they love their kids, but I mean, we love them. Good decisions, bad decisions. Um, And when one of them made a mistake, the whole, we don't, we don't keep secrets in our house. Mm -hmm. So everybody knew and everybody could learn from somebody else's mistake. I mean, we're a really tight family. Mm -hmm. Like our oldest son wants to buy a piece of land and we all live like a commune. (laughs) It's very cute. But basically my brother has created a commune that we all yeah so i mean we just we were we supported we went to all the games Mm -hmm. i mean we just and if they didn't want to play that's okay too i mean our daughter does um you know plays and stuff and that's great now we're play parents (laughs) i mean i think it's just communication you know and and they should always be involved in something you have yeah that was our role that too you have to be involved in something and i don't care if it's sport yeah you have to finish it sports drama whatever speech and debate whatever you know and and do well yeah. don't yeah. do it half fast yeah. do well right you know and so i mean and, and they because they would say to us how do you think i did today uh-huh. you know wrestling match whatever i'm say <clears throat> do you want me to sugarcoat it or do you want me to tell yeah. you the truth and they'd always pick the truth so I'm, I'm like you know okay this is this is what i thought and my thoughts from a you know, bandstand or, you know, out in the stands, but. Yeah, and I mean, so. I don't think because we sent Trey to football camp, he became an NFL player. That's right. not, Mm-mm. I mean, he was an amazing basketball player. He was an amazing baseball player. I love baseball. I would have loved oh, for him to play yeah. professional baseball, but that's not my dream. This is his dream. Sure. I mean, yeah. so, right. um, yeah, it's not because we did, you know, football camp or, and it was yeah. hard. I mean, we struggled sending four kids to football sure. camp and oh, buying, sure. and their feet yeah. grew so fast. You had to right. buy, you know, they had to have new cleats. So you oh, couldn't wear the same cleats. <laughs> yeah, it look cool yeah. out I mean, there, you know. There were some tough ramen seasons <laughs> so that's for what us, you, did yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. because you right. gotta, yeah. I mean, it's expensive to do right. sports. Yeah. Yeah. And it is. That doesn't make or break them. Right. I mean, if they're, if they're good, they're good. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So... Right. But they have to have a, I mean, they a home life, drive. and they have to yeah. and they, a home life. I mean, yeah. they have to. Right. You can't just send your kid off with another parent to every single game. Yeah. I mean, yes, there's times you can't You're make t- it. Right, exactly. Absolutely. But, right. For but I mean, want, I don't you know, like football. Yeah. I'm there. Right. Yeah. I mean, we got ponchos for cold and rainy days. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm there to, to, to support him. <laughs> And again, that goes back to like your kids truly. I don't think that while they love it and appreciate and support it, I don't think that they understand what it is. I mean, they, they do, but they don't understand until they are in that situation, going to all those games and sitting through the right. weather and giving up. You give up a lot. Yeah, sure. absolutely. A lot you of give up all your you weekends. Yeah, you have exactly. to get to know, like, you know, the CSU staff, they all know us and right. they baked cookies right. for them. And, 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 you know, those relationships I mean, are really special. Yes, and the Cardinals the parents, will get to know us. Yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah. you have to, I mean, it's a family. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, um, you know, Mike Bobo, he hasn't coached for years and yeah. if he was in town, he'd, I'd invite him over for dinner. I mean, yeah, and that just, is what you talk to any coach player and that's what they 
that, that, I feel like that's what it always comes back to is just the relationships right, that you right. get. You forget the wins losses and yeah, you remember the relationships. The Absolutely. 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 But it is so true. No, it's good for me to hear, to relay that to Ed because now he's coaching. Yeah. And I, I tell him that all the time. I'm like, you know, you need to like, you know, get to know these kids. You know, maybe there's a reason he's slacking off in the weight room or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. and half the time there is like, there's something going on and he tries to get to the bottom and help them. So it's those, I just said that goes further than any win or loss yeah. ever. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And they tell you so don't get attached to the coach because they move they around right, so much, right. but you do. I mean, you they, can't help they it. love yeah. your kid. I mean, right. hopefully yeah. Yeah. they love your kid and they, yeah. I mean, they're with them more than they're with you. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Right. Right. So you want them around good people good, exactly. and, and, yes. and you have to foster that as well. I mean, I can't even tell you how many dozens and dozens of cookies I've made and <laughs> wow. <laughs> And Shoot, they should have gone to UNC because I'm hungry now. <laughs> All right, it's a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> and then I guess the second part to that, um, is there anything as you look back that you would have done differently? I definitely think as you have kids, you relax more. Mm-hmm. So I wish I was more relaxed mm-hmm. with the first couple. Yeah. I mean, you know. And- I, just, I think every single person has said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's so true. That's why it's good you can have four or five because yeah. then by the end, yeah, you're yeah. Just like, whatever. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, the practice kids. Kids running yeah. through the house with a machete. We're like, ah, oh, as long as don't fine. hit anybody with it. <laughs> yeah, be careful. <laughs> um, how, how are you guys feeling about being empty nesters soon? Because that'll be here probably before you know it. They have 20 dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess there's no such thing like, as really? empty nesters. Well, and it's funny because we all get together so much. We yeah. have a house in Texas, okay. and um, like Trey had two days off. Mm-hmm. And he flew, you know, for the 4th of July to come. I mean, we just all... You're still... Yeah. 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 I mean, we're always together. Yeah. So I don't and know. And they still it's like us. It's kind of cool, though. It's so quiet. So yeah. then when we have a bunch of people, we're both like, oh, it's a lot. can we get out how, of this? Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and how did we do this <laughs> for all those years? I know. Right. Just like, right. It's, right. it's so quiet at our house. I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> uh, you two are amazing. Thank you. I, thank, thank you so yeah, much thanks for sharing your story and driving out. And this was just... This was so fun and such a gift for us. And... Now um, we're going to sign off and pick out Ed's new puppies. Right. right. Let's go so online let's right go now. Let's go and, take a look. See and Periwinkle is definitely right. the first name. A hundred percent. Oh my gosh. 1, it's like destiny. Yeah. yeah. We'll call him Perry. <laughs> Periwinkle when he's bad. When he's right. Socks. It's Periwinkle. Periwinkle. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Thank you, ladies. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for having us. That was us. so good. Couldn't love them more, Lisa. That's all I've got to say. Kate and Jen well, McBride, they're going to be friends for life. I went up and saw them when they were in town when their uh, most recent granddaughter was born. I love it. And you sent Cora. me a picture. Yeah. Love it. And it was, they just, I, I absolutely love those two. And the best part about that whole thing was, yeah, did Ed, Ed got a new puppy, right? No, that's why I'm a little bit mad at him. They're not the greatest people in the world. Where's my dog? I want my dog. <laughs> they tried. They did. They sent so many pictures to us right when they had that litter because I think they had the, oh the puppies came the next day after we interviewed yeah. them. And I just the think cutest. Yeah, they were the cutest dogs I've ever seen. And I'm like, I'm every day. You know, the doorbell rings. I'm like waiting. I'm thinking it's going to be them. No, it's like an Amazon delivery for something stupid that I bought to not replace my longing well. for my dog. <laughs> no, they are awesome. The that reaction, was such- and I don't know how much it was captured in the audio, but the reaction that both you and I had when they said that they were going to name their kid Periwinkle, that that was like very high on the list. Yeah. That was one of those moments that I was like, we are in an alternate universe because we were just talking about how Periwinkle was your favorite word the night before. I, I almost fell off my stool. Me too. Me too. I was floored. I'm like, there's something cosmic going on here. I'm not yes. sure what it was, but I feel like where God is telling us, okay, you guys, that was a little pat on the back. Like, keep it yeah, up. It's Good a uni- it's, they call, I've read a book. They call it the universe wink. It's like the universe just winks yep. at you. We got a little nod. We got a little wink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I love it. Yeah. That was so, very bizarre. Yeah. Thanks to, by the way, Kate and Jen, we joked about yeah. them needing to have their own show. They are on TikTok. It's yes. Real Talk with Kate As and Jen. They, they should also be. have their own YouTube channel. Yes. They are. We're, they're f- fantastic. Love them both. Yeah. So, so their son, fun. Trey, he did not play this weekend. Uh, Arizona had a tough game against the Chiefs. He should have played. Maybe they would have won. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sounds like it. That's you know, just one <laughs> one woman's view. But I, he's going to be somebody who's I think going to have a big NFL career. He's got he's got all the pieces, and obviously comes from a great family and has the work ethic and all those things. So it was just so fun to hear some of those stories. You're in Charlotte, right? Now? I am. You're at Christian's yep. house. Okay. Yep. So I've done that was, world that was tour this weekend. This, I know the Panthers fell just short. Uh, I was listening to the yeah. end of that game against the Browns and was going nuts. It was heartbreaking. It was, it it was, I almost cried and I don't usually cry for wins and losses, but 
at the end of that, I had to take a minute and take a couple deep breaths because I'm like, I cannot believe that was heartbreaking. Well, and, and I, it must, I, I can tell you, me. it felt so good for me to see Christian out there. And yeah. I just was so happy to see him. He scored the first touchdown for them and had some big plays um, in the second half that allowed them to have that comeback. It, what was it like watching yeah. him back out there? It was, it was awesome. And, you know, at first you're nervous every little play. You're wondering, ah, is this, you know, you get nervous for, you know, every time he touches the ball and gets tackled. And, but no, he, he came out of that game. He feels, his body feels incredible. He's ready for more. He was ready. So, which, which is good. That was refreshing because then the couple of years past, you know, he's, oh, he was just used a lot and he was just so tired and he's just getting treatment left and right, up and down nonstop. And um, this game, he came out and he, he felt, he felt really good, ready for the next game. So that's a good sign that um, that's a good sign. So um, of course, then he's like, I, I want, I, I wish they gave me the ball more in the first half. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just be thankful you got through that healthy and you made it through and you were a huge difference and you had that you could have won that game. So I think moving forward, I see good things. He's, he's positive. He's happy. He's excited. So let's go keep pounding. Good. <laughs> Did, keep pounding. Did yeah. you, how was your stress level? Cause you were at rice on yeah. Saturday and then you flew to Charlotte, right? So you got, you got to yep. see a win. Lose yep. And then I, I went, flew to Houston and I had my, I couldn't see the UNC bear game, which was probably a blessing, but I had my, I got to listen to it on the radio. That's how I listened. And so I walked around rice. They have this beautiful path, this tree lined path all around rice university. And so I, I put it on, on my headphones and I was walking around this gorgeous path with all these like academians and intellectuals, like people that are dressed really cute. And I was walking along and I kept dropping F bombs. It was awful. I was mortified. I couldn't help it. Just spewing out. It was just, just, oh, so embarrassing. But yeah, that was not my finest moment of the weekend. But anyway, made it through that and then rolled into the uh, nice victory for the Rice Owls and very proud of Luke and his teammates. They, they fought hard and they had a decisive victory. So was, that was a really fun, relaxing game. And that was one of those games I just sat back and I'm like, the moon like all of a sudden came up over the stadium. There was a slight breeze. It was, oh, it was just a really peaceful, beautiful game. So I appreciate those games now. So then the big I wins thought, are nice because you can just yes. kind of sit back and enjoy them and yeah. Have right. You, so that, no, that was did you get so into fun. any moonshine? That was what I was I did not get into any moonshine. No, it was one of those things that I kept thinking in the back of my head, I have to get up at I have to wake up at three in the morning to make it to Charlotte the next day. So I'm gonna I have minimal sleep. I'm gonna get minimal sleep. So I was a little nervous uh to have moonshine, but I did try some of Jake Plummer's tinctures. 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 I've been trying to learn how to pronounce that word. I can't say that word either. Tinctures. I practiced uh, it in my bathroom. But yes, the lion's mane. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn Plummer, for the uh, lion's mane and the corcocep, the whatever I can't even pronounce either. But I loved the lion's mane. I took a, I take three drops under my tongue in the morning, and I, I, you know, at first it wasn't you know a huge difference. I just I feel I like it. I feel a little calmer throughout the day, and I had Good. been doing that for the game, so I appreciate that. So they might have solved some of my issues. So yeah, so I mean, Thank you. it sounds like. You don't have any issues, first of all. I just want to say that. Oh, perfect. thanks. Yeah, right. Um, I would love. I would have loved to see you walking around Rice's Rice. campus, just dropping f bombs left and right. Yeah, it was so bad. Not my finest moment, but whatever. No, you know what? It's all good. All right. I think. Oh. I think we're gonna cut this off here. Yeah. Uh, as always, email us. Email your mom podcast at gmail.com. Tweet and email us. your mom. Email your mom. Call your mom. Call your mom. Slide right. in our DMs. Yes. Tell us who you want to hear from. Give us some feedback. And then most importantly, as Lisa said, go call your mom and we'll see you next week. Thanks.